Now my list of what we're going to plant for August may seem like my list of succession planting. In the middle of America, tomatoes, too late. Peppers, too late. Watermelons, cantaloupe, too late to plant, not to pick. Look at that, fell right off the vine. That is gorgeous. A lot of these plants are good to plant all summer long. And we're going to continue to plant some of these throughout the winter. We're going to start with these carrots. This is a seed pod. We'll just see what we get. Water those in. Cover them up with your cardboard. Put a little mulch around it. Keep it from drying out. Now if you remember, carrots, especially in the heat, really have to stay moist to go ahead and germinate. But in a few days those should sprout. And we should have a nice little bed of carrots right here. And that will succession off of those carrots. And what's right next to them? Beets. That's the other thing that we can plant. Just pull that back to soil. And that's still good and damp. You rough it up a little bit. Seeds we took off of the fence. I'm gonna plant that very heavy because we got our own seeds. I'm just putting a little bit of I'm just putting a little bit of these shavings back over the top. Now the thing with beets is they're stout enough, they'll be able to push right on up. There's almost nothing here, just enough to hold the moisture. Let's give that a little drink. And I wouldn't be surprised if we got some cilantro coming up in there. Cilantro would be number three. Not really going to plant any, but we got cilantro seeds just falling. So what's the fourth thing we want to plant? See, this is good and thick. It's 94 degrees out here right now, and in some 75 days, we're going to be looking at a little frost. So as always, just pull this back to bare soil. And the fourth thing we're going to plant is corn. Yes, I said corn. We've been succession planting corn all year long. These really only take a couple months to grow and put good ears on. I'm putting them right on top, patting them in good soil contact. We'll put a little bit of hay and shavings on top. And those are strong enough they should push right on up through that. Just water that in good. So number five is corn salad. It can germinate well in the heat, but does well in the cool. We'll have that long after the first frost. So I scattered that pretty liberally. These are very small seeds. But since we still have a little space, number six is going to be spinach. You know, just like nature, we're just going to let this hit the ground. And then we're going to pat it in. A little soil contact. You know, I like to plant heavy because the stuff that we like to eat other things like to eat and I want to make sure we get some so what else can we plant in August we can still plant some cucumbers and we can still plant some squash and number seven we're gonna plant in here behind the peppers we'll put some fast-growing cucumbers it says 58 days so we got plenty of time Looks like our last batch of sweet potatoes finally started to kick in. Let's go ahead and get a few snap peas in. Look how nice and soft that soil is. Now if it frosts before I'm expecting, we might lose the corn. But the peas, they take the frost really well. So I'm just getting nice soil contact. We'll cover these a little bit. Now you can plant amaranth, and ours is coming up already. Planted it just a couple days ago. And then we also have two or three different kinds of lettuces. You wanna make sure the top of that stays moist. Beets are coming up already. They push right on through that mulch. Well, they're still in the 90s. You do have to make sure you keep the water on them. Well, I wasn't paying attention. I let some slugs, I let the slugs get at some of these. But we still have some squash. Squash is another one. You still have plenty of time. We got some zucchini in here. Well, I'm not sure what we got. 
This is either yellow squash or zucchini. But we're going to play two sisters. I don't have any beans over here. But we're still going to do our squash and our corn. You just plant that like normal. And of course right now I'm just having fun in the garden. I expect to get a decent little harvest out of these. And if you can't have fun then it's just all work. And what I understand, the vine bore should be done about now. Since this soil is so easy to dig in. I think that's where that goes. I want to thank you for stopping by the garden on this first day of August. Seeing what you can still plant, you know you can do this too. It's not that hard. Put a little mulch down, dig down in the soil, put your seeds in, give them a little pat and a little drink. I do want to thank you for stopping by the garden and help me plant nine or ten things to extend the harvest. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.